you're yeah, welcome so a lot of major artists are well over the years have you know really left a bad reputation first thing you know because many of these artists they go to stage shows like get a splash for example and they perform there for free but then want to charge upwards of sixty thousand us and so forth you know what i mean some exorbitant money to perform at the show and you know anybody with common sense can know that mr ling does not have that type of money to pay artists you know what i mean for a show you know which relies on upwards of 30 acts you know, where is he going to find so much money to pay so many artists? Ling is not one of those billionaires who has a surplus of money coming in, you know what I mean? And you know that anybody who hosts Jamaican events knows that those sponsors in Jamaica don't generally churn a lot of money, you know what I mean, behind events. They will come and they will brand the shit out of your events and you know give little or no money you know what i mean you get more branding than money so for a lot of these artists to be so strict when it comes to sting you know what i mean they have stifled the show and you would think that the younger generation would see that they don't have enough shows going around you know so that they are not properly developed how to perform so you would think that they would then have more um discipline or you know what i mean to be less so vigilant you know when asking for huge sums of money but you can see that you know as a follower generation you know they are following in the footstep of some of those major acts and as such they are doing the same thing and that has you know returned to bites thing this time when you know rumors are going around that many of the acts basically outpriced themselves you know out of the event you know asking of course mr Ling for millions to perform their cluster songs you know what i mean on the show which is quite unfortunate you know because these same artists are around performing at every every uptown mondays you know what i mean every little ghetto show every little beach party they are there performing for free or for small change many of them can't even fly but yet, when it comes to Sting, they have this audacity to ask for a lot of money, you know. And this started a while back with the veterans. And so, to me, it's kind of ironic to see some of the veterans, you know, even bash it the younger ones. When really and truly they started this, this practice and are not even taking responsibility for it. You know what I mean? It has been more of a money grabbing than actually performing at the event for the love of it and a show like this can actually bring an artist to a different level of prominence you know what i mean you might see it as just a means to just go there collect a fat check you know what i mean but this is what sets many artists apart from people like shaggy because shaggy said once in an interview that if he is to perform for free at the super bowl and he's getting millions to perform at a smaller event he would rather perform for free at the super bowl and many artists don't see things that way and that is why you know they are not successful and that is why as a, as, a, as a person who pays attention to these things, I don't take any form of slander when it comes to Shaggy and Sean Paul. You know what I mean? People try to discredit them for their success, but they are two of the most smart and professional artists Jamaica has ever produced. You know what I mean? And the Butu artists are lagging behind because they don't have the same business attributes. You know what I mean? They are so small-sighted and so they are the type of dogs that will jump after their shadow in the water and end up losing their bones you know what i mean and um this is why shaggy and sean paul are so successful because they are not that type of people they are known to see the bigger picture and so these artists they continue to sabotage thing by you know putting themselves away or pricing themselves deliberately even though it is obvious that only two stage shows you know what I mean, are left in, in the island, which basically caters to dance hall. But no, 
let's just continue to outprice it let's just continue to mash up the stage show market you know what i mean even though we can't even travel even though we can't even sell out venues you know what i mean let's just continue to outprice it let's just continue to follow what we saw other illiterate imbeciles did and destroy the music industry you know what i mean what is left of it and this is quite a shame and i hope i hope that you know I mean, the day will come you know when the event will be so major that they will squander to be a part of it and mr ling will then look at them and be hey no 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 we don't want it to be a part of this we remember we remember when we were going through the struggling stages and you decided that you did not want to be a part of it you tried your best to sabotage the event you know what i mean and then go to perform at an event like get a splash for free but then want sting to pay you an exorbitant fee it is unfair but you know what they say jackass say the world is not level but you know what i mean the turnout was favorable and i am looking forward to see mr leng build on this and hopefully next year we can see a bigger and a better sting you know what I mean? And of course, a new crop of artists who are more disciplined and who respect the music enough to give their services, you know, for the betterment of the future of the music industry and not for a quick buck. I'm out.